everyone. Welcome to the Identity Security Solution Show, the place where you get the latest and greatest on SharePoint product portfolio. I'm Jashri Subramanya, and joining me today is Ben Cody, our SVP of Product Management. Super excited about having Ben here. Ben, thank hey, you for joining. Thanks for having me, Jay. I've been really looking forward to this. This is going to be a good one, right? I hope so. Yeah, this is going to be. be good. So our topic today is also a really good one. It's to provide the latest and greatest about our platform, Atlas. Atlas is something that we spoke about and launched a few quarters ago. So before jumping in, I actually want to touch on what we at SailPoint are really driving towards. What's our winning aspiration? We want to deliver the next generation identity security platform, a scalable, an intelligent, and an extensible approach to secure and manage access to all critical data and applications for the modern enterprise. So today we'll spend more time diving into what is SailPoint Atlas. So Ben, I'll repeat it. What is SailPoint Atlas? SailPoint Atlas is our platform. And you may say, well, well, what do you mean by a platform? But it's it's what we build on, you know? So these are the building blocks that we use to deliver key applications. You know, one of the things that we're really proud about is the new the new DAS application. And uh, that's all built on top of SailPoint. But, you know, partners and customers build on SailPoint uh, Atlas as well. Um, connectors, workflows, forms, um, um, uh, reports and dashboards, all those sorts of things, that's what they built on top of Atlas. So it's kind of the underpinnings of everything that we um, that we use to make all this to work together in a unified way. API calls, you know, that's a, another key piece of this. So you have a unified way of integrating and getting data to and from SailPoint. That's all Atlas that powers that. Excellent. So let's dive into what is unique about Atlas, what makes Atlas unique? Because the way we're looking at it is we were the first ones in the market place today to bring it all together in terms of driving efficiencies, growth, and how we're accelerating innovation with our platform. So let's talk about the so what? What's really unique yeah. about Atlas? Yeah, so we're the only identity solution out there that is actually platform-based. And you say, well, okay, so what? What does that mean? Those are just words. But it, I think it, it really translates into time to value for our customers because everything comes together in a unified way. There's one thing of doing, there's one way of building workflows. There's one way of building reports. There's one way of building connectors. All that stuff comes together in an integrated way, and it all works together really well. So you're not taking a lot of time to try and wire all this stuff up, regardless of whether you're talking about human identities or machine identities or you know whatever the case may be. The other big thing, and I, I don't think we talk about this enough, so I'm going to talk about it here, is that with Atlas, and only with Atlas, is the only solution in the industry that takes away the pain of the upgrade. You know, historically, in this industry, whether it's on-prem and or if it's one of our competitors, which I won't name, which are basically hosted solutions, they're not really SaaS, you, know, you have to deal with the upgrade. You have to schedule that. You have to test all those things out. I mean, we're pushing code 160 times a week, and you know, the last time we did something that, you know, broke a customer's functionality, I mean, it was a long, long time ago. I'm not saying it won't ever happen, but in general, we can we can deliver innovation really fast because we can upgrade everybody at once and we do that very rapidly. And so you're not having to upgrade and then you're also getting innovation a lot faster than what uh, you would through an on-premise solution or again, what some people are calling SaaS, but it's really basically a hosted thing. So that investment protection that Absolutely. you're providing the for customers. That's the word, right? it's the investment protection. And so in terms of the uniqueness as well, Ben, let's talk about the core platform capabilities. So one doesn't actually build a platform overnight, right? I mean, that's you don't just have three guys and, and they've been working on a secret project and then you launch it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be you know much of a platform. So it's uh, Atlas is an evolution for us, but it's one that we got to a point where we really felt like it was worthy of a brand, you know. I mean, uh, and and by by making it a thing, it reinforces our commitment to platform, you know, platforms and all the promises that those platforms convey to our customers. I, if you roll the clock way back, I mean, you could argue that Atlas started with this connector framework that we built that allowed ourselves and our partners to rapidly build connectivity because that's the backbone of any identity management uh, implementation. Um, but it also was all about workflows and forms too. Um, you know, that's been more recent additions to the platforms, especially in the SaaS world. Those things are really uh, important because you, you need to be able to 
tailor that implementation in a way that supports your business processes, but doesn't break the upgrade model. And so, you know, that was, um, you know, that was the kind of the more, more logical extensions. We've done a ton of work with data and APIs and machine learning. And, you know, again, all that ties back into this extensibility story and is what, you know, makes us unique. Um, and then again, with all this AI and ML stuff, people talk about this like it's a new hot thing. I mean, we've been doing this tw- since 2017. Drives me nuts. I mean, we didn't have we didn't have you here to help us market all this stuff properly back in 2017 is the problem. And so all this comes together and provides you with this unified and comprehensive view of, of risk and, 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 and governance and all those things. It's just, you know, that's that's what makes Atlas unique, and that's the value it provides to these customers. It's excellent to see that, Ben, because the way we're looking at it is the unification piece of it, yeah. the common services that you're talking about, all the different capabilities, how it sort of works with each other as well, right? So it's all about the unification. And would love for you to sort of dive into the unification message again. Right? What is really unified when it comes to Atlas? Yeah, so th- this is, th- like you say, it's kind of the linchpin. It's, uh, it's look, it's a, it's a common data model. So you've got one view of what an identity is, all the different attributes associated with it. That's It's our identity cube. Now, on top of that data model, it's, uh, you know, a common set of AI and ML that gives you unique insights into risk. You can only have those unique insights if you have a single version of the truth. Uh, it's the connectivity layer, which is uh, you know the piece that y- you know allows you to have a single point of connectivity out to all those uh, applications that are out there uh, to visualize all that information, common set of workflows, common set of dashboards. Uh, but and then it, what it re- really manifests itself in value is that you've got this unified approach to managing humans and non-humans, machines, third parties, etc. You know they, they need you, you want you want one thing for all that because otherwise how do you have a Nobody knows what's going on inside that a box. You know, way. you don't know right. what's going on inside there. If you don't have a single view into that, then that's, of course, what ultimately allows you to provide these, these, this unified view of, of, of information to all your stakeholders, whether it's auditors or, you know, managers and executives uh, and anybody else that cares, your CISO, et cetera. And, uh, and last but not least, a unified way of administering these things. So you don't have 10 or 15 or 20 consoles. To, well, that, I'll, it's a bit of an exaggeration, but two or three or four consoles to go to to manage all this stuff because we all know how critical the cyber skills shortage is. So it makes our, our administrators' lives a lot easier too. So the focus is really simplification. Yes. Right? Yes. That's what we're really driving. So I have one last question. Yeah. What does the future hold? For Atlas, how are you thinking about it? What's coming up next? Give us some teasers. Well, I mean, a big part. Of, I mentioned AI earlier, and of course, a big part of Atlas is the the data infrastructure, the data lake, uh, you know, and the machine learning that goes with that. You know, for several years, the first several years of what is now what we now call Atlas, a lot of that focus was on helping customers reduce risk. Um, by identifying outliers, by identifying scenarios where people were overprivileged and those sorts of things. And there's a, a very much a continued path forward there. We've made huge strides there, but that problem's not, you know, that problem's never fully solved. But the LLM side of things is where it really gets interesting with AI because now we can tackle, you know, the, the, the time to value for our customers. There's so much we can automate in terms of establishing connectivity with all these applications by learning, using machine learning to learn from these, you know, tens of thousands of applications that we've connected to. We can automatically recommend how you should connect to applications. We can help you configure that automatically. Uh, if there's not a connector there to begin with, we can automatically generate that code. We can use LLMs to do things like um, type in a command that says, give me a dashboard that does X or a report that does Y. So there's tons of opportunity to go there. And I just think in general, there's customers want to extend the platform more and more. I mean, there's a, there's a sell points, an integral part of an end to end thing. And, and so continued investments in APIs and, you know, making unique data insights and, and data available to those customers is also a key part of it. Partners want to build more and more on this too. And so that's, you know, the other key direction of Atlas is to just leverage the power of that ecosystem and have that be a value multiplier. That's fantastic, right? That just shows what's coming up next for Identity Security Cloud. So you could see what you can, what each one of you can do with SailPoint Atlas. SailPoint Atlas facilitates a whole number of use cases that address the complex and the most common challenges organizations face today. 
there's quite a few there, right? You want to standardize your data for better insights. You want to look and have a very holistic view of your security posture and risk as well. You want to eliminate that you know, repetitive task and the burden of manual tasks as well. You want to identify and understand your identity data. You want to onboard your applications really quickly. And there's a lot, lot more that Atlas really delivers. And so again, Ben, thank you so oh, much. Thanks for having me on, Jay Shree. Yeah, it's really good. And thanks, everyone, for tuning yeah, in. Yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah, to learn more about SailPoint, our product portfolio, and to listen to more such shows, as I pointed out, join us at SailPoint.com. Mm -hmm.